Hi guys! It is day 80 of Cozy Grove. I was just playing around in Garden Paws with Space Burger and she was showing me her really cool world. So it was pretty awesome. It was fun. She has a trampoline. <laughs> And it was very fun. So thank you, Space Burger, for showing me your world. It was one of the best things I've done today. So thank you. Um, let's see what we have to do for our little guys here today. We have a couple of fruit salads. We have a pickled fruit. We have a jelly danish and a fancy cake. So let's see what we got. I don't think I have any of those. I do have a fancy cake, okay. Perfect. I have a pickled fruit. I don't have a jammy finish. So let's just start with what we have. <gasps> what? This is the new wig vendor. I forgot about him. Oh, also, uh, my daughter redecorated my island last night, or my little campground. So it is nice and tidy. And that is actually all thanks to her. So, <laughs> um, some of my birds are now unhappy, but that's okay. You know, you have to make some sacrifices when it comes to tidiness. <laughs> Sometimes that's the happiness of the random bird. We're going to have to check out that wig vendor and see what he's got. He looks fabulous. I'll get there eventually once I gather all my golden berries here. It has been a very hot day here today. <clears throat> It is unusual for our area, but we have gotten over 100 degrees, and now that's not unusual in like late July and August, but for June, <laughs> it's a little unusual. Um, let's see, Ugh, I've, I see I've washed ashore this tacky island yet again. Every Saturday it's the same. I party on the deck, my yacht sinks, and then I'm here. Surrounded by small town shabby ghosts and spirits of no consequence. What a disgrace. Why, a woman of my character deserves more from the afterlife than sand, shrubs, and sad little spirits. Wait just a minute. You aren't a sad little spirit, are you? Bonafide living person here. <clears throat> It's your lucky day, darling. I'm Darla O'Hare of the O'Hares, naturally. That must be a lot to take in. Do take a seat if you feel faint. Uh, you're tongue-tied, I understand, dear. No doubt this is your first brush with a woman of my stature. Oh. Yeah, that's fine, honey. Yes, you're fine, honey. Go have a Dr. Pepper, silly. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry, guys. But worry not. I can see that. Unlike the tawdry spirits of Cozy Grove, you have taste. Finally, a person who takes care in their appearance. There's no hawk to of course. Cute in an unpolished way. But I can work with this. I still keep up with the weekly trends, you know, despite my spiritual predicament. Stick with me and you'll be fit for Paris or New York in no time, darling. Okay. Uh, oh, she's got a class for us. I need to express myself and you're the perfect canvas, darling. Let's try something like this. Um, any shirt, cute teal, a cute green hat, and a red mysterious accessory scarf. Okay. Perhaps we have that. Let's see. A cute teal hat. Oh, thing. Sorry, that was my fault. Check out my clothing collection. That is not a teal hat. I don't think 
think any of these are going to be teal. Okay. Nope. Oh, wait. Green hat. Okay. Cute green hat. Oh, wear that and wear that. There we go. We look fabulous. How distinctive. Surely the world will take note of you now. <laughs> Ooh, I got questing elite. What is this? Oh my goodness. Let's put that in our closet. <laughs> I don't know if I'm quite ready for that. The absence of anything resembling a half-decent luxury is torture, darling. Distract me, would you? Ooh. Okay. This is where you could get the wigs. They're 1,500 coins, though. Um, no thank you. Not this week. There's a lot of imps near Octavia. Octavia, are you okay today? Hi, sweetie. Are you getting sand in your shoes? A lot of people complain about the sand. It's particularly fine on this section of the island. It gets into everything, but I don't mind. It's just to remember that I'm where I want to be. Ooh, we can skip rocks. Let's see. Oh, no, we can't. I have all these weird bugs in my inventory. I think they are all ones that have already been caught. So they're safe to sell. Oh, we do have this float. I think I showed it on the stream last night, but I just feel like that's so Octavia. <laughs> she just feels like she'd be a little bit of a, you know, surfer party girl. Let's burn a couple of things here. I do like the organization of my little island here. I think she did a good job on it. we go perfect oh yeah steampunk vents I don't even know what to do with that oh let me turn up my volume just a little oops that way we can hear our fire when we go by I'm gonna try to not get too um distracted by the bugs. <laughs> it's a little easier now that I know I've caught quite a few of them. <laughs> I don't think that guy really wanted to be caught though. I should have caught him. He was dancing around me and everything. Oh, he's still here. All right. All right. If you're going to get in my face, bug, then you're going to get caught. Maybe. Oh my goodness. Never mind, dang it. Let's see. Let's help Jeremy today. The spirit smiles. He needs a whetstone. Okay, it's behind the windmill. Let's see. Ha! I caught you. Okay. Let's see, Francesca. There we go. How are you doing? Admit it, little fauna. My ghost story is a little sad, isn't it? Honestly, it's devastating. The fire devastated the land around my house, that's for sure. It took years for the woods to grow back, but they did. All my life, I was surrounded by tall trunks. I wanted to create something as grand and permanent as they were. But in the end, that sculpture I rushed to save from the fire... It wasn't one of mine. It was a bust of my mother. Aww. You know, before Dad and her split up, she used to walk through the forest with me. I would run between the trunks, and she would just look up the leaves glowing in the sun. Why focus on the leaves, Mom? I wondered. The leaves don't last. They sway in the tiniest breeze. They fall to the ground. They're gone by November. I think I finally understand. They don't need to last. They're just passing through. 
having their moment in a forest of little moments. And if they're lucky, someone sees them, captures the moment, someone like me, or someone like you. Aww. Francesca. She's ascended. There she is. Oh goodness, guys. What is that? Five bears now? We've got... Oh, I think it's four, right? We've got... No, five, because we have Patrice as well. So five of our bears are now... They've ascended. The spirit gestures. They are no longer of this world, but your offerings may still reach them. We do have quite a few other bears, though, still, which is good, but I'm losing all my favorite bears, <laughs> and it's making me sad. Okay, let's feed this new. This was the new bird that we bought so that my daughter could name it, and his name is Chubbs. <laughs> that is the name she chose for him, Chubbs, so Chubbs the bird. Oh, right, let's change to our dousing rod. And before we get too far, actually, let's, let's sell some stuff, actually, to Mr. Kit. Mr. Kit, our good friend, we want to sell stuff. Oops, I don't want to sell that, actually. I want to sell this and this and this and this and this. And these and that and this. And, oops, and this. Sounds great. Take it all. There we go. Now we have room. We don't have to stop yet. Alright, Valentina looks good, but let's check and see what she's got. She's got a wilted memorial flower. Well, flowers. Hay bales. Those are kind of cute. A curious wicker end table. And a metal chair. That's adorable. That would be so cute near, uh, near Allison's area. Okay. Let's go see what Barrows needs today. If thou wishest our blessing, thou must bring us a suitable tribute. Raw food. 20 raw food. <laughs> um... Oh, do I want to give him 20? Nope, I want to give him 20 of that. There you go. A fitting tribute. Such fealty deserves a handsome reward. Thank you. I appreciate it. Let's see. We've got a cottage lamp. Ooh. I hope that's the one that I really like. I hope it's a cute color, too. I'm going to put that everywhere. <laughs> I think it's the one that goes with this fence. Ooh, we've got a, we've got a fire. Oh, yep, we're ready. There we go, perfect. We'll get some more skipping stones since I don't have any on me. I forgot my skipping stones again. There we go. Perfect. Let's hope we're, <laughs> we're a better shot than we usually are today. We've only got three. Okay, let's do this. One, two, no! <laughs> Almost. Okay. Uh, more like that. One, two, three. Yay! We did it. Okay, there's another one today. Let's see if we can get it. This is going to be tricky. One, two... 
No! Dang it! Okay, we'll find more. Oops. <clears throat> oh, let's put our dowsing rod on so we can find things. And let's see. Ursula does not need help today. With sadness comes a certain level of self-absorption. It's hard to see others when you're struggling. One reason I like to garden is because it takes my mind off myself. There is just the sound of the leaves ripping out of the dirt, the birds, and whatever tune happens to be floating through my head. She's good. I like her. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Dang it. Catch you, stinker. You can also give this guy a potato. Have that potato in. Is this a new? Nope. We got a new badge at least. Hey, and some spirit embessence. Let's give this bird some food here. Arjun looks like he's doing okay today. Ooh. Okay, let's see. We've got Ivy, Bok Bok, <laughs> Emo, Cool Girl. Ivy is kind of tempting, but let's check. Uh, Lulu, Louise, Jags, Shelly, Thelma, Cinder, Nelly, Ivory, Nibbles, Nibbles it is. Nibbles the bird. Ooh. Wow. That was a good one. We got 100 coins from that one. <gasps> hang on, hang on, hang on. Where's my net? Let's put this here. Caught him. <laughs> oh, one sided lover. Oh, man. This game. What do I have anyway? What was my a farmhouse antique? Well, we know where that's going. I think it's going to be two to three more days before we find our last friend, our last bear. Kind of hoping it's Harold. Fruit salad number two. Hurrah. Dousing on time. I love this song. It's just, it's such a fitting song for a campground. Here's a rock riddle. What's tougher than Feldspar but can't beat Tobas? <laughs> um, okay, well, it's right here in your own backyard. So we will find it for you. Although I think what we're going to have to do is um, maybe sell a few things. That's a new one. I don't want to do that yet. Here's a log for you. Okay, a log for sale in the store. Okay. Let's put some stuff away. Oops. Uh, okay. I don't know if we're building a vessel for ourselves or if we're going to be building a vessel for the captain. 
but we will find out either way. This part totally reminds me of the Princess Bride. Let's see, young Eerie Deer? A young forest deer. Look at their burp quite chalky. He's been overfeeding his deer. A young blood bird and a young demon deer. None of them are really calling out to me today. But what is, is the skipping stone. Okay. Let's try this again. I'm glad that didn't go off because I was like, please don't go off that hard. Oh my goodness. No! <laughs> Why am I so bad at this? <laughs> oh my goodness. Whatever, Brock. I'll go find more. Dang it. <laughs> okay, let's put our decoration here for now. Oh! It's another spinning wheel. It's actually quite pretty. Okay. We'll go put it over here by Lee, next to his other one. There we go. Now it looks like it fits. Okay. catch one of you. Just come close to me. Ooh, the priest fly. Okay, hang on. Oh my goodness. Not close enough. Oh my gosh. Too close. <laughs> I'm so glad they made this easy. All right, let's go find that rock for Ted. Eventually. <laughs> we'll get there. Oh, here we go, right here. Ted, you can find this. I thought you were a geologist. There we go. Okay, we still have one more. <clears throat> oh, we're on the trail. <clears throat> Quartz, yes. Rocks are fun. <laughs> I am glad that you think so, Ted. A raised planter box. I like that. We'll take a look at the new recipes before we log off today. See if there's anything fun to make. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Look at that little scuttle butt. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I thought that was an imp. Oh, too close. Caught him anyway. <laughs> They're not very fast, which is good, in general. But assume if they're like a legendary bug, they'd probably be a little bit harder. Let's see, Allison doesn't need help today. 
Lee Barry Dennings is good. Let's check on the captain. And Patrice. Oh, we got Patrice. We have the request for Patrice. Is this going to be a quick damn cozy grove? might have sold something that I should have donated. A lovely one-sided lover. Let's see. We'll go find out. It can't be worth that much. Although Mr. Kit really does like to get his money back and then some. You make a mistake, man. He'll make you pay for it. <laughs> Ooh. Look at that's a blue world. Okay. Let's see. So this is a pink. It's a pink clam. Oh, almost. <coughs> About that amount and just a touch further north. Like that, maybe? Yay! And get the hang of it. <coughs> oh, dang it. I forgot our inventory's full. Let me go fix that really quick. I'll go check Mr. Kit and make sure <laughs> I didn't sell that one little bug that my daughter got for me. I'm gonna sell stuff really quick. That one, and that one, and that one, and that one. Thank you. Alright, Mr. Kit, we need to look at your goods and buy this. Sounds great, thank you. Uh, common gothic end table, that's quite nice. And we've got a planter box. An antique, a gothic antique. A plant, or plant fence. <laughs> uh, camping lantern. Some new flowers. And then let's see. Just make sure. Oops. Maybe this one? No. Okay. She must have turned it in last night, which is good. I know she was a little worried about that. She didn't want to do anything off stream. But it's not a big deal. There we go. Nine more logs before I'm full. Mm, it depends. It could be another three days, honestly, with nine more logs. We got a small amount of logs today. Alright. Oh, I should put that in. I think the press we can burn. It's all safe to burn. Let's burn something. Burn it all. Sounds great. 14 relic ash. That's really good because I think we got 6 already as well. So that's like 20 relic ash for one day. Storage. Thank you. Okay. Um, let's see what we're doing here. A windmill. Okay. Let's see if we can find the whetstone. We'll start with that one. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of windmills here, so. Might take us a minute. know why, but today feels like a Sunday to me. It's been such a strange day. We have not really left the house hardly at all because of the heat. Uh, because, you know, honestly, who wants to? It's miserable. And I know there are people, I feel so bad saying that, because there are definitely people out there who have dealt with much higher heat than what I'm dealing with right now. So, I feel like I'm bellyaching over 100 degrees like, a, like we're a baby, but... 
um, some types in the northwest. Uh, you don't have a lot of, um, you don't actually get a lot of air conditioning because most of the time we don't actually need it. So approximately only about like 60% of the homes are um, air conditioned. Let's see. Try that. Yay! <laughs> I did it! Oh. <laughs> okay, I think we're done there. So we'll just put the bugs net there. There we go. Now we're ready for any bugs that we see. Might do a little fishing tonight too because it's summer. I don't have to actually work tomorrow. And, um, I mean, I don't think I have to. Sometimes I don't know, but I don't think anybody's going to want to see anything in this heat. I was supposed to go out today and go see a couple of uh, land parcels. I'm so glad that we didn't go, though, because um, they were about 70 acres each. A commission vampire. Um, there's a joke about a real estate agent in there, by the way. But, uh, <laughs> the red free slug. Anyway, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> I got so distracted by the bugs. Pro skipping stones. Those are the best. Hmm. I got myself a frosty from Wendy's earlier, and so it actually, actually I got it a couple of days ago, and I totally forgot about it until this now, and I'm thinking I might go get some after this. I'll share it with my daughter. I have to. I'd feel bad if I didn't. Let's just catch a couple of fish. A long nose ling. Oh, oh, it's the short one. No, I don't want you, stinker. Of course you'll come for it. My ebony squib. You know what? It's okay. We'll turn him into one of those little laboratory bubbles. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Come on, take it. You know you want it. It's delicious. Oh my goodness, come here, take it please. I gotta make sure he's really not gonna take it because if he, if it catches his attention just as I pull it back, he'll run away. I don't want that. I hope it's something better than just a log. <laughs> Oh, man. You better be something good, fish. Like a recipe. Or a good essence. Oh, it's floating up. That's why. That's why I'm having a hard time. I have to actually move because it's floating up. So if I move to, like, right here. Let's see. And as it floats up should get closer and closer to him. <laughs> My goodness. Alright. Hey, Maluxinator, how are you? I am trying to catch this very stubborn little brown fish. He does not want to grab my food. I am doing good tonight. I've had a lot of fun today. I feel, um, I feel like it's a Sunday because I feel like I've just played video games all day and I've done a few chores, but it's kind of nice. It's been a very chill, kind of relaxing Saturday. So it's kind of a nice change of pace. Let's see. Is it going to finally bite? Come on. This is the most stubborn little fish, and it's probably a piece of wood. 
That's the worst part. It's right in his face. I think. I hope it's a recipe too. Oh my, oh wait. <gasps> Finally. There we go. You know what? I'll take a bird essence. <laughs> so how has your day been? Have you been playing video games and relaxing as well? Or has it been a little busier? Busier than mine, that is. Ooh! That looks like a new fish. Oh, no, apparently I found him before. That's okay, though. He's pretty. Oh, yeah! I was lurking on that, but I didn't watch it because I was doing some chores. So I want to actually watch that because um, I only know Nancy Drew uh, was from my mom. My mom actually loved Nancy Drew books. So I've never actually read them myself. But did you used to read the Nancy Drew novels? <laughs> Is it a long story? It's, I'm imagining it's kind of like one of the mystery books. Oh, I didn't know you read in French or you speak French. That's impressive. That's really cool. What made you speak it or read it in French? Is French your native language or? Oh, that's so cool. I don't know a lot of people who can say that their first language is French. That's really cool too. I know you said before that you were you had moved to Canada, but I couldn't remember too many details like where you had come from. Did you were you originally from Canada as well? Is that how you learned the French? Oh no. That would be hard. It's hard to think of like differently different languages. It's just really hard to translate everything in your mind. Oh. I don't even know how to say that. So, it, Moritis? Did I say it right? Moritis? I am so sorry if I butchered that. That's pretty cool, though. Oh my gosh, this bug. Come here. I'll have to look that up. Yeah. You know, um, I tried to learn other languages. Uh, delicious. Delicious? Hmm. M Mauritius? Mauritius? Is that right? Okay. <laughs> I hope I remember that, so thank you. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I'm going to have to Google that. See what I can learn about Mauritius. It's kind of a fun word to say. <laughs> Is it more of a tropical kind of island? You hear Indian Ocean and I always think of India and I'm like, I can only imagine. It's like a dream place. It's so gorgeous. Madagascar. You know, I don't know a lot about Madagascar other than there was a movie about it that was a cartoon. So I should read up on these things more. I feel so uneducated about it right now. <laughs> oh my goodness, I didn't even talk to the bird today. Let's see. Can I help you with something? A vast young sailor. I'm starving. If you wish to soothe me soul and me belly, bring me an admiral's platter. 
And what's that, you ask? Why, it's a rotating menu of seafood delights. The catch of the day, as it were. See if you can satisfy me before the day's end. I wish I had just kept all those fish that I had just caught. If I remember correctly, didn't she move there because you, you, you found somebody that you love? You moved for love? Not to pry into your business, so if you don't want me to, that's okay too. What is... Oh, okay. I thought that was like a two-finned fish. I was like, what is that? It's just two fish. Aw. That's sweet. Yeah, I thought it w it had two uh, tails there for a minute. <laughs> it was like, it's mutant fish, mutant carp. Let's see if we can catch some commons. Oh, perfect. Okay, we do have one, and now we need an uncommon shell. So we need a green shell. I think this is it. There we go. This is going fast. Look at that. Let's see, is this another common? Nope. All right. All right. Let me grab my fruit. Excuse me. Do you get to go back to Malicious very often and go visit your family? That would be hard. I can't imagine being too far from family. Two years or so. That's got to be hard for you, though. But I'm glad that you get to go back. My husband is from uh, California, so not quite as far. But um, he hasn't been able to go back in quite some time to see his family, mainly because of coronavirus. Oh my gosh, 48 hours? The longest I've ever been on was, I think it was a 14 hour trip. <clears throat> and it was from Washington to um, Manchester, England. That was the longest I've ever done. I can't imagine 48 hours. I can drive to California honestly in one day. <coughs> so, um, my husband, honestly, if we wanted to, we could probably just jump in the car and drive down there, but he has this thing about road trips, and the, when you're going down, you kind of go through the mountains, and it freaks him out a little bit, because it's just like a sheer cliff side on one side, <laughs> and so going through the mountain pass, that's, it gives him anxiety. So he prefers to fly because it takes two hours to fly, but if we drive, it takes about 16 hours. Yeah, it's it's not a fun trip, that's for sure, but it's definitely something that's doable in the pinch, you know? I'm just checking to see if all these are sellable or not. I'm pretty used to driving. Oh, that's a new one. Hang on. Come here. Come here. Don't run too fast because I'm not good at this. Okay. <laughs> what is his name? Industrial Fishing Refugee. All right. That is funny. <clears throat> um, but I am pretty used to driving myself. I used to commute... Um, I know, they're pretty awesome. Um, they're kind of like the fish, though. I've noticed the fish names are all a little funky. I like what they've done with this game. They've definitely given it its own twist. But, um, yeah, I used to commute about 100 miles every single day on the road. So, um, even though I don't like to drive... Oh! I got a treasure map, guys. That's my second piece. How many do we need? Eight pieces. 
Okay. It is a cute game with an edge. You're absolutely correct. Let's see. Maybe this will be a good common one. Cornfish. Hey! Let's go turn that in. I gave my fish tank a good clean today, too. My little fishies. I've got a... Oh, this is the new wig vendor. I don't know if you've met her. You know, don't beat yourself up if you can't drive. It's, um, it's not the best. Oh, yeah, you should play and just go get her really quick. She has wigs for sale and they're different every day or every week, I think. Um, you've done me a mighty favor, sailor, and I always pay me debts. Thank you. After you take a quick nap. <laughs> Um, so I know quite a few people who just have decided not to, and if you have access to, um, maybe trains and buses and that kind of thing, but just anything that makes commuting a little bit easier, it is seriously overrated to own and drive a car, in my opinion. That's just my opinion. It's just something where I feel like uh, if I could just ride around in a bus, I definitely would. It's, oh, let me show you her wigs. <clears throat> darling, 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 darling. With your natural good looks, anything is possible. We just need to accentuate you a bit. So here's the wigs that she has for me. I kind of like this one. I don't know if I want to buy it though. Uh, I think this one's kind of cute as well with this outfit, to be perfectly honest. I'm not a big fan of the Pocahontas braids, but that one's cute too. I don't know. I don't know if I want to buy it or not. All right. You know what? I have been completely, completely neglecting this one. So sculpture made of sand, a telescope, and crystal rocks. And then we have the windmill, which could be either by Lee or it's going to be by, um, by Ursula. Let's see. buy this sculpture made of sand is it just buy it behind something oh behind behind the captain there I agree you know I think that there's a lot of things that could be done and I think honestly um, especially in light of the fact that uh, there's signs that you know global warming is occurring that we really should be considering doing a lot more work from home options. And I think this last year has proven that we are perfectly capable of working from home. And so maybe it's gonna be something where businesses are more willing to let people work from home. I think that's so much a win-win for everybody because you don't have all those cars on the road. Um, oh no, that was so close. Um, but you don't have all those cars on the road. You don't have, you know, people angry. People are going to be home to take care of their kids, which is huge. Uh, most women, after they have their first or second children or after they have a child, will actually quit their job because they feel so much guilt being so far away. And so they give up on their careers to be able to take care of their child, which is a great thing to do, honestly. But with something like that, it would mean that you wouldn't have to. You would still be able to work, even if you decided to work part-time, and still be there for your kids. Which, honestly, if I could have had that, I would have definitely chosen that. I missed the first four years of my daughter's life. And um, 
I was working, you know, a corporate job, working that corporate ladder, and I got to the point where I just decided I wanted something different, and uh, I actually hurt my back for a while, and it kept me home, and I got to spend a lot of time with my daughter at the time that I hadn't really been able to spend before, and it just made me realize that there were more important things in life. So, that's why I now work <laughs> two jobs. Oh, goodness. But they're flexible jobs. So, you know, and the, the idea is I get to be able to stay home a lot more. Let's see. Okay, we need the telescope and the crystal rocks and the windmill. But I think our animals would be happier. Our kids would be happier. Our spouses would be happier. Yes. There's just so much more to life. Nobody ever gets to the end of the road and says, I wish I would have worked harder. Or spent more time working. <laughs> it's good to do your best and to work hard, but you need to remember why you're working hard, too. I really feel like it's going to change, though. I have faith. I don't think that they could totally roll it back because there's going to be so many people who I already know, you know, it's difficult to find a job where you can work from home because everybody is applying for them. And any job that comes up that's 100% work from home, there's like, you know, 80 different applicants in one day, which as a former employer, I could tell you does not often happen. If you have a job where people have to come in and actually help you, you don't get 80 applicants in one day. Okie dokie, let's burn some stuff. We need to. I'm kind of wondering if Cozy Grove is really going to milk these last few days. Because I think he only has like nine more logs that he needs, but they could really spread it out to five days if they wanted. How has your job been? Has it been a little bit easier? I'm hoping you found a little relief there as well. Not to pry, but hopefully it's good. So if I ever ask you a question that is outside of your comfort, then I apologize. It is not my intention. All right. Crystal rocks. I didn't see the whetstone. Let me go look one more time. Let's see. It's behind something. I love these little kitsune shrines. I think they're so cute. That is a fair thing to do. Well, I hope that you're able to find an awesome work from home job. There's plenty out there right now, so it's really the best time to go look. I wonder if I did this or if my daughter did this. Because that slide is going right into that sandbox. <laughs> I feel like she must have done that. She probably thought it would be cool to slide definitely into a sandbox. Yeah, good luck on that. I know you can do it though. Yeah, they're so cute, aren't they? I hope you find a really good job. <clears throat> when I finally quit my job, I was commuting two hours one way to get to work and then two hours one way to go home. And I can remember I was the kind of person where 
um, honestly, I, I'm not really the kind of person to have road rage at all, but when you spend that much time in the car, oh, it's hard not to be. Especially, like, situations where you've waited, like, I don't know, like 30 minutes just to take a turn, and then somebody zooms right up and cuts in front of you because they didn't want to wait. <laughs> That used to make me so mad. And now I'm like, I don't even care anymore. I'm beyond the commuter life. Am I stuck on both of the... Oh, there we go. We found it. Yay! Blacksmith Forge. Oh, let's get this too. I should post some pictures. I have a little Discord and I've just started posting some pictures into it. I haven't really used it until just recently. Um, but I had a couple of friends join it and so I posted a picture of my uh, baby fish that I raised. Um, and, oh, there it is. That's easy. Okay, Mary Bench. And I've also got some really cool pictures um, just because of my job because I do real estate sometimes I get to see some really amazing things so um, a couple of weeks ago I got to tour a home <clears throat> it's way outside my price range it's not a home I could ever afford but they had 1600 feet of riverfront beach property and I took some pictures and I was like oh my gosh somebody has to see this because it's gorgeous you can only imagine living there. But I think that stuff is interesting. I don't know if anybody else would find that interesting at all. Everybody else may think that's kind of boring. All right, let's see. Behind something. I have another one where you can see two mountains at the same time. It's kind of overlooking on a cliffside. Oh, I would totally share it with you then. I try to take some cool pictures and then I post them to my work Instagram. And that way people can see, you know, the cool things that I see. And hopefully choose me as a realtor. <laughs> I don't know why. It seems to be the thing to do though. Yay! Okay, I'll post it in a little bit then. So after this stream, I'll post um, the riverfront. And then um, I can also find and post the one with the mountaintop. The mountaintop is a little bit hard though, because you may have to zoom in to really see both of them. They are always uh, a little bit hard to see. You know what? I do have one that's enhanced though, and you can see it. So I'll see if I can find that one. I'll dig it up. When they've got so much snow on the mountain, I don't know why, but sometimes it's difficult for cameras to pick it up. We used to have to really get like a high-end uh, digital camera to take a really good picture of the mountains. And then um, now my smartphone takes better pictures than my really expensive camera ever could. It's kind of crazy. Okay. We're looking for a whetstone. I can be just blind though. It is very likely that I am just blind. Is it even? Yeah, it is behind something. Is this the last one that I have to do? <laughs> This windmill is the one that I placed, because that one's always there. Let's see. <laughs> I love the little squeak. The squeak can jump away. I gotcha. A joy bug? 
Oh no, he's not, he's not new. I think the other crying little ghost is on the opposite side of the island, so there's no way I'm reuniting them today. Alright, I'm gonna cheat on this. Come on, Charlotte, we need help. I will gladly give you a hundred coins if you just tell me what the heck I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, it is down here. Where is it? Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? I am so blind. <laughs> I totally thought that was part of the box. I thought that was part of the decoration. All right, let's help Jeremy. The spirit is filled with the happy memories you shared. Ooh, a gold ingot. So Francesca has ascended today. She almost looks more orange. I think it's just because of the trees behind her, though. Oh, and she was a slightly different co color than uh, Jeremy Gruffel, just because she was a little more brown. That's probably why as well. And then let's see. She was the tree bear. Or maybe it's just lighting. Maybe I'm losing my mind. The spirit cherishes your offering. Fifteen hundred coins. A wicker small sculpture. That's kind of cool. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> There's all these caterpillars everywhere. I kind of like them though because of this reason. He's going to be so cool one day. I can't wait until he is. Let's see. Actually, I want to make sure. Oh, we do have a new one. Okay, let's go donate that really quick. All right, we want to donate a couple of things, apparently. Sounds great. Bullying survivor? That is so silly. Told the skeezy or sold the skeezy restaurant owners. Poor guy. <laughs> He's so sweet. He just needs extra cuddles. I wonder what the text is on that. I just I can't wait until I catch a bullying survivor. Let's see. I think I got all of the clams. Let's do a quick tour of the coastline just to be sure. Did you get any good wigs? She made me dress up first before I could do the wigs. So this was the outfit that she picked for me. I didn't even know that I had a jaunty beret. <laughs> Let's pick that up. <clears throat> oh! Yeah, so she'll make you dress up. So um, it's actually kind of nice, though, because when you go to your inventory, all you have to do is look for the ones with the question marks and put those on, or the exclamation marks, rather, not the question marks. A hermit crab. Do I have that already? Yes, I do. <clears throat> I hope you get some cool wigs from her.
what is that? A zombie real estate agent? When the solstice moon is out, thousands emerge to swap shells. Real estate is in their blood. That is me. That is me in a bug form. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I think I missed the mine by brooms. Maybe? Was it by brooms? Maybe it's moved. I could also be forgetting where it is. <laughs> it's entirely possible. <laughs> All right. I cannot find it. All right. We're just going to leave it then. So, all right, let's check out our badges then. I've gotten a few, which is uncommon. I've gotten Questing Elite, so we get 50 Quartz Gemstones from that. Oh my gosh, did you get lots of pink wigs? I'm so jealous. I love the pink wigs. Recycler Elite? Aw. Which one did you get, though? Was it a cute one? That's true. Imp Welfare Expert. 2,500 coins. I have kind of like an unofficial goal slash challenge to actually get all the flowers donated. Oh, I don't know if I've seen that one. Maybe I'm not thinking about it, but I'll have to go back and look at them sometime. Is it the one with the braid in the front? It has like kind of a braid that hangs down and swings back and forth. Yeah, okay. I know which one you're talking about. I've only mended five broken hearts. This one's going to take forever for me to finish. I will definitely finish this one soon. It looks like I can do that soon, actually. Yeah. So... <laughs> I like a good challenge. <laughs> I'll show you. Um, actually, I need to buy a couple more. But, let's see. Mr. Kit, we need some stuff. We looked at Mr. Kit's stuff, I think. But I'm going to buy this. And I'm going to buy this one. Oh, that's a pretty one. Yes. It will be daunting. But uh, it's going to be worth it, I think. I, it's really not going to be worth it. It's just something that it's going to... Oh, no, I need to make room in my inventory. Durr, that's why it's not letting me buy it. I need to pay attention to those messages and not just keep pressing. Um, no, I want to... Nope, I don't want that either. Let's just put these ones in storage for now. But... So I have two more that I can donate today. I may as well lay them down really quick before I go down there. Let me see. Our little flower line here. This deer is in the way. He does not help. Okay, this is the flower. So I'll get that one really quick. I don't think that's straight, but that's okay. I'll fix it later. And then I've kind of been doing like a circular thing with the bushes over here with uh, Francesca's area. And that way it just kind of, I don't know, frames her area a little bit differently. It makes it original and all hers and very natural. And then, and plus it's right next to her, so I can recycle them all. <laughs> um, all right, let's donate and see how much we get. Here we go. So for our shelves, 
we get 600 coins for our bug, we'll get a thousand coins and six quartz gemstones, which is nice. And then our flowers were at 75 of 361. So I'm getting closer every day. But I do believe that they release different colors for each season. Because I feel like this season I've been getting a lot of the corals and oranges and peaches. Whereas before, I felt like it was more blues and reds in the springtime, the early to late springtime. So I'll be, I'll be curious to see how uh, hard it ends up being to finish them all. I'll probably have to wait a whole nother year to finish them all, I think. All right, let's sell some stuff. See how much money we make for all these. <laughs> the commission counter. Oh man. There we go. 3,700 coins. That's good. And thank you. I worked hard on it. Um, oh, did I look at his haircuts? I don't think I did. I like this haircut. I think this is pretty cute. This looks like a new one. They have uh, more of an auburn and then more of a traditional orangey red, which is kind of nice. But, all right, let's see if we can make some fruit salads and uh, jammy danish really quick. Oops, sorry guy. Not out as a leaf bug. <laughs> Well, be silly. Let's see. Oh, no, I can only make one. Okay, can I make a jammy danish? I can make a jammy danish. Let's make a jammy danish, and we'll make one fruit salad. All right. I do need to pick up little flowers here and there that I um, had in different parts. Like this little, this little accessorized end table and the little flowers were in different places originally. I have them usually by here because it just looks like it fits. And then the flowers were just to make it pretty. But she keeps moving her little house around, so it makes it difficult to decorate it. Let's see. I'm going to put a couple little flowers there. That way they're happier with each other. And there we go. Let's go check out our new crafts from Jeremy really quick. And then we'll kind of wrap up this stream from there. So I think we've done everything on Cozy Grove for today. Let's see. I want to craft something. Sorry for hitting the microphone right there. I hope it didn't make a loud noise. Um, oh, we do have my favorite. I'm going to craft multiple. Let's craft four. Craft them. Yay. I love these. Okay. And, oh, I want to craft something. I want to see what the other ones were. I got so excited about that. That is so cute. Hmm, let's see. It's a cozy decoration. It's an ultra rare. I can almost make... Oh my gosh, this is so cute. A curious wicker small sculpture. It is adorable. I can't make it though. That makes me sad. <laughs> it's so cute. All right, what do we have? We have these lamps. I love these lamps because they fit in perfectly with this fence. Let's see. I'll have to decide where I want them to be. 
I got four, and I really wanted to put four on... You know what? Why didn't I even pick that up? I'll just lay another one down. There we go. And now if I put one at the end, it extends the light, but look at it finishes the fence. It looks so cute. I need to fix it a little. It's a little bit off. It's not nearly perfect. My OCD is going to go off until I fix it. There we go. I love it. Okay. I know it's not ideal placement for light, but look at that. That's adorable. We definitely have more on one side though. Let me just pick up a couple. Maybe if I move two from here to here. I don't even know how that happened. Okay, and then I can move one here. And move one here. It looks a little more balanced. It's definitely not perfect, but it's a little more balanced. And then what we can do is just for now put one here. Not that it's really needed, but I love it. Hey kitty. Hey, don't get stuck on my shirt and fall. I want to put one right here. Maybe if I move the other light it'll work. Let's see. If I put one... Oh, that's why. And maybe I can move this one. What about this one? This one isn't needed anymore, see? So then what I could do is, for the time being, I could move it like maybe right here. And maybe move this over here. Done that light. Um, yes, so what I do to catch the mosquitoes is I run away and then as they fly towards me, I try to swing at them wildly. So that is the only way that I have found to catch the mosquitoes. So give that a shot, just run away and flail wildly. <laughs> I missed the first one that came up to me because it kept flying in my face and I would just swing and swing and swing and swing at it and it didn't do any good. So the second one I tried to run away and it worked much better. I just want to put these away really quick. Actually, I'm going to leave those out. Okay. Let's feed our little deer. Oh, wrong deer. This is the hard thing because my daughter changed everything around. So a lot of my animals now, they were kind of placed where I knew that they would be happiest. But I have to go through and make them all happier now. Nope, nope. Nope. Oh my gosh. I want to feed this deer, dang it. <laughs> oh my goodness. There we go, I got him! Did I get him again? Oh, thank goodness. Get some more onions. <laughs> All right, we have two birds. Let's feed. Nope, let's not feed Phoenix. Phoenix is not a happy bird. We're going to feed Buttercup. Buttercup's going to give us more essence for our salad. There we go. Alright, we're going to burn something. 
Oh, actually, is that medium? I'm gonna put that away. So we're really only burning some mushrooms. <clears throat> oh, Molexinator, just to let you know, I did get a quest from Ted Sapson when you get that far, um, where he wanted, uh, I think it was five medium iron ore. And because I had burned them all, I didn't have them. And uh, I think also as well, I was selling all my fruit tinctures. Um, they actually sell for a lot. So I got the tip to buy all the fruit and then sell that stuff. And you can make a lot of money that way. But the problem is, um, it's actually something where you need it to feed Barrows once you get him. <laughs> he wants like all these high-end foods. So I would try to keep at least like, I would say maybe 10. And that way, if you do happen to get that quest when you get Barrows, then it's not as hard. But I had to wait a little bit for Barrows. Oh, wait, I have another fruit salad. Right? I think so. Nope, that's a different one. That's a cob salad. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'll try to think if there's anything else that I can think of. Um, right now, I don't think there's anything else really that comes to mind that you really need to hoard on to. But I have started hoarding some of my silver just in case he asks for it. And I'm like, I'm going to be prepared just in case. <laughs> Okay, I think we're pretty much done. Let's lay down our new our new little bush. And I feel bad because my daughter did such a good job lining everything. And I just throw my bushes wherever. I'm like, they look happy. They're happy little bushes. They're Bob Ross bushes. They get to be wherever they want to be. And they do what they want. <laughs> what they want. <laughs> Alright. Let's put these in storage. And I think we will log off and close this day of Cozy Grove. But I really appreciate you hanging out with me and keeping me company. So thank you. I, uh, I hope you have a great night. I hope you catch those mosquitoes. And you have a, a good night and I'll talk to you soon.